Yo, what's going on everybody? Robbie Diesel here and um, you see the couch? So you know what time it is. It's time for another sneaker unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Retro Jordan 1, the high OG Defiant variant. It's been kind of hit or miss with this one and, and I'll give you my opinion whether or not I like it. And we're going to take a look at the sneaker of course. So without further ado, Let's do it. All right, so before we get into taking a peek at the sneakers, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so you get more videos just like this one. And then hit the little bell icon right next to it. That way you get notified every single time that we upload. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sneakers here, which we've already pulled out of the box. This has got the, you know, kind of traditional Air Jordan 1 color, or I'm sorry, design to it. It does feature a slightly higher um, top here. So the shoe is a little bit taller than most standard Air Jordan 1s. And it does have like a really premium leather look to it, right? Like that that leather, it, it looks like it, it was made from the, the finest of cow hides for sure. A uh, little um, varsity red, I guess you would call it, racing stripe that goes from the side of the sneaker around the back the heel and then back along the other side and then the sole looks it's got like a cream color to it i guess i don't know if that was designed to mimic like a worn look or if it's supposed to look kind of distressed or whatnot i mean the the colors are the colors are okay What's really, really throwing me off from really loving this shoe, though, honestly, is the, the stripe, the racing stripe there. Like, I, I, I feel like that could have gone um, maybe a different way, perhaps even just making a Nike swoosh just red, you know, with that colorway. Because I do like the color, I just I don't like that flat stripe there. And it was, it was placed, uh, according to Nike, uh, it was placed there to kind of mimic the design and the look and feel of high-end Italian sports cars, right? Because that's a reoccurring thing with Michael Jordan shoes. The person who designs his sneakers has a really, really high love of high-end sports cars, Italian or German, whatever the case may be. And that definitely translates here. I mean, you, you can tell it, it looks, the, the, the stripe on there looks like something that would be on a racing car. Um, you have a deboss leather tongue, which basically is is short for premium build quality let's see if we can get focused in on that joint there all right there the tongue on the shoe is solid it's got a real nice look to it even the inside of the sneaker has like a premium look and feel man like this is a high or supposed to be a high-end sneaker that's why it's called the jordan one couture as for me personally honestly I think the sneaker looks better in pictures than it does, you know, up close and in person. I I'm pretty sure, you know, the hype beast, the, the, the sneaker heads, the, the, they'll love this shoe regardless. And that's okay. Everybody's different in their likes. But for me, even though I'm holding a pair right now, I would say up close and impersonal, this, this would be a pass for me. This would for sure be a pass. I just, I don't know. I, I think it's a strike that throws me off. Maybe. Who knows? All right, dudes, that's it. That was a very quick look at the Air Jordan 1 Couture, codenamed Defiant. Let me know what you thought about the sneaker in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up icon, hit the like icon. And as I said earlier, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get more videos just like this one. And also check out a couple of my previous sneaker unboxings. There's one right over here. And then there's also another one right over here. So make sure you click those, watch a couple more videos. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.